The other day, I rode my bike up Animus Mountain here in Durango. It sucked. I'm not gonna dice it up with pretty words. It sucked. That mountain is brutal. It hates people and it hated me. The trails are rocky and brutal and difficult to navigate. There's baby heads everywhere. Um, I could go on, but why don't you just watch because you're gonna get a kick out of this. Animus Mountain is located just north of downtown Durango, right along the Animus River Valley. It's a beautiful mountain with great trails, but they're rocky and treacherous. From the north edge, you can see some pretty amazing views of the valley below, and that's really the draw here. But overall, it's a really, really tough place to ride. All right, Durango, Animus Mountain. Gonna do some hard climbing. This is a rocky, rocky area. Very technical, very tricky. The trail fork says it has some good flowy downhills, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Gather yourself. It's gonna be a hard day. be like you when I grow up. Have a good one. You too, man. Take care. Let's see if I can roll just a tiny section of this freaking trail. Man. This is like the hardest trail in town. I'm going up to the right. I want to follow that eastern ridge on the mountain. Looks like this is a bypass and it's a blue instead of a black. So I'm gonna take it and give myself a little break. It also looks like it's a lot more fun. So, you know, there's that. It continues east and meets up with the second trail. There's two parallel black trails going up the mountain here. And I'm staying on the one that's closer to the ledge because I want the views. And here's the second one. They really are close together, that's weird. hundred feet of climbing, rocky, jagged climbing in 2.7 miles. <sighs> this climb has been brutal. It's a punishment. Technical, steep in spots. Lots and lots of baby heads. Wow, I can see why no one rides this mountain. Well, I think I'm getting close to the north edge because I'm running out of trees. Very cool. Oh my goodness, I'm way up here. Holy moly. Oh my 
god. Oh my god. Triple black. Like, oh jeez. And I got a flat. That's awesome. It busted my valve. That's encouraging. I don't know if I have another valve. This trail hates me. Oh my God, look at this. Incredible. Here I am on the North Ridge at Animus Mountain in Durango. And uh, it was one hell of a climb. Like I had to earn this. This was a hard ride. The trails are incredibly rocky and steep in some spots, but mostly just really rocky. A lot of baby heads. But I, I endured it. You know why? Because I knew there was a good downhill. I knew it. It's just, Trail Forks is saying that it's one of the best rolls in Durango and I really wanted to try it out. And so I, I endured this brutal uphill. And as soon as I got to the top, I'm walking my bike down a hill. And guess what happens? A rock hits my valve stem and busts it wide open. Like, what the hell? And I, of course I don't have a spare valve stem, so I'm walking back to the car. I'm gonna walk my bike down this supposedly amazing downhill and I'm gonna go back to the car and I'm gonna drive home. <sighs> this trail hates me. <laughs> Oh, man. I just remembered. I have a freaking tube. Tubes have valves. Ugh. <laughs> I think I might have a solution here. Although the spot where the stem broke left a couple of barbs and made it tough to get the little nut off, I was able to use my link splitting tool in order to wrench it down a little bit and tighten it. After that, it was a pretty straightforward approach of just sticking a tube in there getting it all taken care of and reinflated. I actually got this thing working again. All right, I got my tire repaired. Might have a couple too many pounds in it, but I think it's okay. You won't get any pinch flats. And I'm going to go down a trail called Dome to the Loam. It's a blue trail. Dome to the Loam. This is uh, quite the lookout that I can't look at. Oh, big chunk. And there's a blue trail. Okay. feel very blue. Hmm. Well, what is it? The clubhouse. I'm not going to touch it, but it's really neat.
this mountain does not mess around. I just rode seven miles in three and a half hours. That's a 1.8 mile per hour average. This mountain threw everything it had at me except except like falling off a cliff. Um, it's got steep, rocky inclines. It's got brutal switchbacks. Big rocks, big baby head rocks that roll around under your tires. And the climb feels like it never stops. It feels like there's more climb than there is descent. Like it's crazy. That being said, it was really fun. Almost the entire circuit on this mountain was black or double black trails. I'm not going to ride this again anytime soon. I am just destroyed. I can't wait to eat dinner. Thanks for coming, man. Whew. <laughs> God, what was I thinking?